everyone, this is Susan. Today I have the wonderful opportunity to speak with Dr. Bess Dawson Hughes. She's one of the major researchers looking at calcium, looking at vitamin D, looking at nutrients and how they affect bone health. And Bess, I have a terrific respect for your work. For years I've been looking at your studies, and now finally I get to meet her at a wonderful conference in Montreal. One of the interesting things Bess is working on now is this whole question of chronic low-grade metabolic acidosis. Now you'll all recall we've been talking a lot about how just a slight acid load caused by an imbalanced diet, perhaps, can really damage bone. Bess is researching that now, and she has some great tips about how you can change your diet to actually protect yourself from an excessive acid load. So what did you find, Bess, when you looked at your population? Is a, is a high acid load common in the United States? Mm -hmm. Yes, we, uh, with aging, and that is after around age 50 or so, uh, there's a, a gradual uh, rise in the acid and the pH, uh, decline in pH, a rise in the amount of acid uh, mm -hmm. in our systems. That results from two things, as we understand it. First, uh, our kidney function declines with aging. And with that decline comes uh, decreasing ability to excrete the hydrogen ions or excrete the acid load. That uh, would not be such a problem unless we aggravated the situation right, right, right. I see. with a diet that uh, keeps adding uh, acid to our system. So we have an aging factor and we make it worse with our diet. Correct. Okay. Uh, it turns out that about two-thirds of the people in the general population are adding more acid than alkali, than base, uh, through their diets. Now the things about the diet, it turns out, that add acid are protein and cereal grains because they contain sulfur, which when uh, these foods are metabolized, turns to sulfuric acid, which is very strong acid. We actually produce like a little acid rain within our bodies. <laughs> That's a good way to think about it, yeah. Okay. Now, to counterbalance that acid, uh, we would need to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables because the fruit acids and the acids uh, uh, in those, we all know that orange juice contains citric acid. Well, that, uh, once metabolized, becomes alkaline. This is kind of confusing. But fruits and vegetables are our sole and major sources of a uh, of base that offsets the acid. Of alkalizing compounds. Right. And even though a food may taste acidic like lemons or limes, mm -hmm. they actually are converted by the body into alkalizing factors. That's right. They're converted to bicarbonate, to uh, which is alkaline. And that offsets that sulfuric acid. Uh, from the fruits, from the uh, grains and protein. And actually, in your study, you used bi bicarb, potassium bicarbonate, to neutralize people mm -hmm. and to see the effects on bone. But what was really fascinating is she, uh, Dr. Dawson Hughes also found that the food can make a big difference. And uh, let's hear your, your guidelines on that first. Okay, so a third of the people in our study were already in the optimum range, which is around neutral. Uh, for acid-base balance. Their diets had uh, the characteristic of having time and a half as many servings of fruits and vegetables as servings of grains. Specifically, that, that particular population was consuming uh, over eight servings of fruits and vegetables per day, mm -hmm. and uh, five and a fraction servings of grains. Now, the, the group that had the highest acid load in our uh, 200 and some subjects had the reverse ratio. They had uh, many more servings of grain than fruits and vegetables. And so their ratio of fruit and vegetable to grain was 0 0.7. So um, we had a ratio of 1.5 in the neutral group and a ratio of 0.7 in the acid loaded group. Interestingly, in both of those seg segments of our population, the dietary protein intake, which is of course a source of, of acid, right, right, right. was constant. 
the dairy uh, cervix per day was constant and the same in those groups. So you didn't have to you didn't have to adjust by protein no. or dairy. You could simply look at the vegetable intake, fruit and vegetables, and the grains. Right. Uh, so I think uh, in order to protect bone, now uh, uh, that maintaining a nine to six or a six to four, anything that's time and a half, is, you know, one and a half times as many fruits and vegetables as grains uh, is a reasonable goal. If you couldn't reach that goal with your diet, then another option, as we studied, uh, was to use potassium bicarbonate or potassium citrate uh, in supplement form. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's, and the importance to bone, we don't we we don't want to overlook because when you're too acid, several things happen to bone, right, right. that are not really desirable. Yes, our study and and those studies uh, of others have shown that when uh, you add alkali in the form of these potassium bicarbonate or citrate pills uh, every day uh, for a number of months, you will see that the uh, biochemical measures in the circulation or in the urine uh, that indicate breakdown of bone, those are suppressed. So there's less the, bone breakdown? There's less bone have... breakdown and less bone loss, and at least demonstrated in one study, although there is mixed evidence on because of very few long-term studies. Less loss of calcium in the urine. And there's less loss of calcium in the urine. The body conserves calcium better. We build better bone. It's going to be very right. quickly. Over 99% of our calcium in our body is in bone. So if you can decrease calcium losses, you are by definition decreasing bone loss. The research is fascinating, and, and we want to thank you for this effort to do it. And, and everyone, we want to pay attention to these guidelines of having more fruits and vegetables. It makes such good sense. We know it helps prevent cancer, diabetes, heart disease, all our common chronic diseases. And now we know with bone health, build a strong alkaline diet, eat those fruits and vegetables, maybe cut down on grains a little, mm -hmm. have adequate protein but not excess, and... That's right. Off to a great start. And you may even manage uh, better weight control by cutting down some of those exactly. grains. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good. Have a good day. We're done. Yes, we're done. <laughs> thank you. We managed. We got this. <laughs> no. I hope